In this video, I show you how to force restart your iPhone 15 or 15 Pro, how to enter recovery mode, how to enter DFU mode even, how to use emergency SOS, how to disable Find My when powering down your phone, and so much more. 9 to 5 Mac on YouTube is sponsored by our friends at Mosul, the only Apple unified platform for business. Mosul completely automates deploying, managing, and protecting Apple devices at work. We'll talk more about Mosul a little bit later in our video, but for now, Click the link down below to get a free 30 day trial today. So first of all, let's familiarize ourselves with the iPhone 15 and 15 Pro's button. So you have the side button here on the right side of the phone. And of course you can use that button to sleep or wake your device like this. It can also be used to invoke Siri, but of course we'll be using it to do other things. And the 15 Pro gets the new action button, but we're concerned mostly with the volume up and volume down buttons for this tutorial. How to power off iPhone 15. So to power off your device, you can go to settings, general, scroll all the way down and you'll see shut down. Tap shut down and then slide to power off just like this. And now your iPhone is off. You can also press and hold the side button and one of the volume buttons, either one volume up or down like this until you see the slide to power off dialog and then just slide to power off just like that. Now, if your phone is off, you can power it on just simply by holding the side button until you see the Apple logo like this. And then you can release the side button and it'll continue to boot up. Now I did speed this up a little bit, so don't expect your phone to boot up that quickly. How to force restart iPhone 15. So if your phone's not responding, you can force restart. Let me show you how to do so. Press volume up and release, volume down and release, and press and hold the side button and continue to hold the side button until the screen goes black. So continue to hold. Once the screen goes black, you can release the side button and then you should see the Apple logo appear momentarily. So this is a very handy tip because if you ever find that your phone isn't responding, you can force it to restart. How to enter recovery mode on iPhone 15. So here's where we're gonna actually need to connect to our computer. So that means utilizing a USB-C to USB-C cable. One comes with your iPhone, this is the braided cable. Apple has even updated its glyph for when you're out of battery to show a braided USB-C cable. And you'll see that same cable when you get the liquid warning. Hopefully you never see that. All right, so we're gonna plug in the USB-C cable into our iPhone 15 and then connect the other end into your Mac. So once you do that, you're gonna see a pop-up on your phone asking you to trust the connection. So trust this computer, you wanna tap trust, to approve the connection, and then enter in your device passcode. By the way, don't use 1234 for your passcode. Okay, so open up Finder on your Mac and select your iPhone under Locations and then click Trust to trust your iPhone. So once you do that, you're gonna see details about your iPhone, you'll see the software version, backup information, etc. You can ignore all that because we don't care about that right now. To get into recovery mode, press and release volume up, volume down, and press and hold the side button. So we're gonna do that now. Press and release volume up, press and release volume down, press and hold the side button. Continue holding the side button until you see the connect to computer screen. It's gonna take a while, so first of all, you'll see this screen go black. Eventually you'll see the Apple logo appear, but continue to hold the side button to get into recovery mode. Now in most cases, you probably will never need to use recovery mode, but in some cases you may need to do so to restore your iPhone software. So there we go, now we can release the side button and you see the connect to computer dialog. And if you're running one of the latest versions of macOS, you should see this, allow accessory to connect. So you just want to allow so that your Mac can see your iPhone. So now you're going to see this. There's a problem with the iPhone that requires it to be updated or restored. So you can use recovery mode to update your iPhone software or to completely restore your iPhone software. So if you choose restore, it's going to completely wipe the phone and put a, a clean installation of the latest version of iOS on that phone. If you choose update, it's just gonna to update to the latest version. That's assuming you don't have problems with updating. If you do, then you'll be forced to restore. Now, instead of downloading from Apple servers, you can point it to a specific file by holding option and then clicking either button. So if I want to restore to a specific firmware, I can do that or update to a specific firmware, I can do that. Now to exit recovery mode, it's actually really easy. All you need to do is press and hold the side button until the screen goes black. So that's what we're gonna do now. Just press and hold 
and just continue to hold. Okay, you see your screen go black and on your Mac, you'll see it disconnect as well. So eventually you'll see the Apple logo and then it'll boot back up to your iPhone's home screen, just like this. Pretty simple, straightforward to the point. Hey, I gotta interject for just a moment to thank our sponsor for this video. Mosul, the only Apple unified platform for business. By combining five different applications in a single Apple platform, Mosul completely automates deploying, managing, and protecting Apple devices at work. Mosul's Apple MDM allows companies to deploy new Apple devices without ever having to touch them, installing all apps and applying all configurations automatically. Mosul's integrated security tools will ensure all your devices are always compliant with main cybersecurity benchmarks, while also automatically detecting and neutralizing potential malwares through an Apple specialized next generation antivirus. In identity management, Mozo allows your company to bring SSO to Apple devices, allowing employees to log in on work devices using their Google, Microsoft, or Okta credentials. For patch management, Mozo not only allows you to always keep the OS of all devices automatically updated, but also installs and patches any required app. Finally, Mozo also integrates a powerful online privacy and security tool that ensures that all employees' online activity is compliant protected and safe. All of this at a price point that's less than any individual application. Use this link below and get a free 30-day trial of Mosul. And check why Mosul is the only solution you need to manage and protect Apple devices at work. Chances are you probably never need to enter DFU mode on your iPhone 15, but I'm gonna show you how to do so anyway, just in case. So you wanna press and release volume up, press and release volume down, press and hold the side button. All right, so let's do it. Volume up release, volume down release, press and hold this side button for 10 seconds. 3 1000, 4 1000, 5 1000, 6 1000, 7 1000, 8 1000, 9 1000, 10 1000. Now while holding the side button, press and hold the volume down button for five seconds, then release the side button after five seconds. Continue holding volume down and the screen should remain black, just like this. So on your Mac, if you're running a recent version of Mac OS, you're gonna see this allow accessory dialog, you just wanna click allow. And once you do that, you should see your finder window update to show that you're in DFU mode. And you also see a little pop-up and it'll tell you that your Mac has detected an iPhone in DFU mode, which stands for a device firmware upgrade. In DFU mode requires a restore, you can't actually perform an update from this mode like you can with recovery. So this allows your iPhone software to be updated offline via the USB interface. But like I was saying earlier, it's unlikely you'll ever need to use DFU mode unless you have some serious issues with your phone. So we'll just hit the cancel button. And now let me show you how to exit DFU mode. It's not as straightforward as exiting recovery, but it's still pretty easy. So you press volume up, volume down, and press and hold the side button. So volume up release, volume down release, press and hold the side button, continue holding the side button until you see the Apple logo, and then you can release the side button. Keep holding and there we go. So now you can release the side button. You'll see it disconnect on your Mac and that is how you exit DFU mode and you should boot right back up to the iOS home screen. So how to temporarily disable Face ID on iPhone 15. So of course Face ID allows you to unlock your phone like this using just your face for biometric authentication. But if you wanna disable that temporarily, all you need to do is press and hold the side button plus one of the volume buttons until you see the slide to power off dialog. And now you just tap cancel and then face ID, as you can see there, is disabled until you enter your passcode. So if someone tries to force you to use face ID, that's one way you can disable it. How to use emergency SOS with iPhone 15. This is a great security oriented feature. Everyone should know how to invoke emergency SOS. So go to settings, emergency SOS, and you'll see several switches. So what this does is it will call emergency services when invoked. And there are a few ways that you can activate emergency SOS. One is to press and hold the side button in either volume button continuously. So let's do it now. Press and hold the side button along with either volume button, continue to hold, and then you can see that countdown begin. 
So once it reaches the end, if you release the buttons, it will call emergency services. Now the other way to activate emergency SOS is to use five presses of the side button in quick succession like this. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. And you can see emergency SOS starts to count down now. So be sure to hit stop before it completes. You don't want to accidentally call emergency services unless there's a real emergency, obviously. All right, so let's go ahead and unlock. And you'll see other options like call quietly. That will prevent that alarm from sounding when invoking emergency SOS. So let me show you. So just keep holding. And again, no alarm sound, so you can do so discreetly. And of course, there are other emergency SOS related functions such as crash detection. And that is an option you can enable if you want to as well. It's enabled by default, of course, and that will detect whether or not you've gotten into a vehicular crash. That's very handy. It will call emergency services automatically. And then you have your emergency contacts you can set up. I recommend that. And of course, there's emergency SOS via satellite. You can try a demo of that. And this allows you to correspond with emergency services or even AAA if you're in the United States. If you're in an emergency and you don't have a cellular connection, this will actually connect to a satellite orbiting Earth and allow you to text message and correspond with the proper help. How to disable Find My when powering down iPhone 15. So we're gonna go ahead and shut down iPhone 15, but here you see iPhone is findable after power off. So even when your phone is turned off, it can still be found via Find My. So this helps you to locate your phone if it's lost or stolen, even when it's turned off. Handy feature, but sometimes you may not want that enabled. So you can turn it off simply by tapping this right here, temporary turn off or disable Find My. You'll need to verify with your passcode. And then when you shut down, you're not able to find your phone using the Find My app. You can see right there, 22 minutes ago was the last time it was pinged. So now I'm gonna show you again this time I'm gonna power it down without disabling Find My. And I'm gonna show you how you can still find your phone even when it's powered down. So let's power off. So it's off. Now you can see that I'm still able to locate it within the Find My app. So that's pretty cool, right? So for all you new iPhone 15 owners out there, I hope this tutorial was helpful, helping you see how to force restart, enter recovery mode, and so much more. So thumbs up if you appreciate this video and be sure to check out these other videos because I think you'll like these as well. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.